If this a game, 2K, one of a kind. 2K, best by my thigh. 2K, friends I don't fly. Ooh, a monkey barrage. Uchi hot test on my highs. Hello, guys. I think I'm Hercules here. Welcome back to the channel. For first time viewers, welcome to the channel. So today, I thought it would be a great deal of fun is to uh, do like a comment response video in regard to my most viewed video to this day, which is Tenno vs. Guardians. For a channel of my stature, pretty good traction on that mass traction, actually. I still have people commenting on it like five, six times a day. So, and even if your friends haven't saw it, be sure to share that to them. But I received multiple good and bad points in regards to the final verdict, which was Guardians would win. So what we're going to do today is go through about 8 to 10 of these comments, as there are over 50 of them. Um, so if one of you guys was missed, uh, it was either your point was extremely void, it was redundant, meaning someone else said it, but probably said it better and made a different point added on to what you said, or just it added nothing to the discussion. It's just something like, I don't know, fuck you, Hercules, I, I don't know. So here we go. And be sure to stay to the end, guys, as we respond to some of these comments after that. I will reaffirm the verdict where to no one can rebuttal. So, here we go. Tendo versus Guardians. The verdict explained. We're going to start off with Joe Lim. He says, okay, I played both games. Let me tell you that Guardian would stand no chance even with the odds 1,000 Guardians to 1 Tendo. The only thing that Guardian could count on was their infinite life spawn. Tenno, on the other hand, has almost every type of counter at their disposal. And if we're talking about lore-wise, almost every frame has the ability to wipe out the entire planet, so say goodbye to the Traveler. If a chunky boy with a fleet of army can take down the Traveler, imagine what one Warframe can do to it. And Naro's literally could create Sandstorm on planets he wishes to. And Limbo could just banish the Guardians into a rift. And that is just lore-wise. If we talk about actual gameplay, any weapons with the correct mod could easily deal 10 times damage than Destiny's weapons. And Warframe abilities are energy dependent. We've already had a lot of gears in Warframe that easily provide those energies for the Warframe to spam. Guardians, however, need the light to charge up their abilities. You don't get no light if you can't touch the Warframes, and you get no respawn when your Traveler is dead. Alright, Joe Lim, and to that, I say... Your response not necessarily bad, just lacking in information. Yes, Inaros can create sandstorms. It would do nothing to a Guardian. Unless Inaros has weapons of darkness, he would prove inefficient. And truthfully, Guardians would just kill him 1v1 anyway. You can actually bring 5 Tenno, and I don't think that can beat one Guardian. Guardians are tiered at around 4B, uh, likely 2C, which means they destroy and power up to a multiversal level. And, 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 and on average, they're at, at a stellar scale, while Naros caps at 6B, which is tectonic. And Naros can destroy an island, nothing more. He can cover a planet in sandstorms. He can't destroy any planet. And um, Guardians have killed destroyers of worlds and have the power, says their versus battle wiki, that they ha can destroy worlds. At a multiversal level. So, to you, Joe Lim, incorrecto. The Forsaken Alpha says, My guy, Guardians can kill gods like Zol, Crota, Oryx, Atheon. Zol, Crota, and Oryx are champions of the darkness that can warp reality in their realms. And since they can't be killed in the physical world, Guardians have to enter their realms to kill them. Atheon can warp time and space and has control over the Vault of Glass, which is a primary device the Vex used to terraform planets the size of Venus in two days. Just to name some of its abilities, many abilities. And Riven is a wish-granting dragon. Because <laughs> he LOL. Reminds me of Shenron and Guardians of Solo, all of these beasts. Just look it up on YouTube, what you're looking on right now. And my response to that is just... Oh, here's one I actually liked a lot. It was pretty funny. Parmesan Killer says, The Guardians are basically humans without their light. Whilst the Tenno, even without their Warframes, can do some crazy shit and still revive themselves. Somehow, I don't know, they chill on in the void for a bit. Valkyrie is next to a mortal. As soon as she's low on health, all she has to do is damage with her four and suddenly she's back at max health. Not to mention, with max armor, she takes 10% of all damage. Do you really think Rhino would outlive that? Guardians lose that lose. They are strong by all means, but Warframe with Tenno are both lore-wise and gameplay-wise stronger. 
What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Valkyr is next to immortal. Guardians are immortal, brethren. And are just simply stronger. You was in a redundant one, but I was also wanted to say this. You said guardians about that light are basically humans. Guardians with their light are basically gods. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. That's my response to that one. Easy day. Anubis Black says, Ha 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 ha. Corpus are extremely intelligent. That and some other real, it will be considered a superpower. Let me explain it like this. If they exist in the Destiny universe, they would replicate the Traveler and harness the power of the Guardians. My guy, we saw Gaul mess up the entire Guardian community with sheer force, and that was just an idiot cabal. Now that firepower, when he dropped off Guardians, Warframe possesses all that in spades. With all that said, LV is even more intelligent. As for the kidnapping, it was not a corpus directly doing this. They either hired the stalker or utilized tech like Zanuka, who, trust me, will wreck guardians. Calling orcs gods doesn't make them so. If I am not mistaken, these captures only stuck because the Tenno at the time did not know the truth about their existence and didn't know they could leave the warframe and inhabit another. Unlike Destiny, where armors just fix some kind of thing, Warframe has actual defense technologies that the guardians have, not even thought possible. I, uh, I once joked back in the day that all Warframe weapons would be considered exotic weapons based on their uniqueness. <laughs> yeah. Can me, the mere mortal, respond to you? I knew it was... Alright, so... The Corpus would not be able to copy or any way, shape, or form mimic the fucking Traveler. Just stop that, alright? That, that That's such a reach. Like you're reaching for the moon and the stars, Okay. Now, you just said goal. Goal was an idiot. Okay, goal intelligence is goal intelligence supersedes that of the Tenno. Okay, <laughs> this idiot you're talking about. So there. So I'm not even going to speak on your Warframe's intelligence and calling an or God doesn't make him so. What if uh, what if the actual classification of his his being as God? What about the fact that he's lived billions and billions of years? Does that make him a God? What about the fact that he has conquered? universes does that make him a god i mean i don't know what about the fact that he can control your will does that make him a god he's he, he's he he has all he has several traits that make him a god he's a, he's god like he's more god like than anyone in warframe orcs would destroy every warframe altogether fighting orcs would not beat him all right that might be a cap i might be going i might be reaching but it i don't know if i'm reaching that's the thing <laughs> And for everyone who comment, I know I didn't get through a lot of you guys, but I don't want to draw the video out. You know, that's not how I do it. So now let's actually get to what you guys have probably been waiting for. My proof, my verification, my, uh, I want to see my sources and how I came up with this. Some of it was based off me playing both games for an, since the beginning of both games, understanding both storylines and understanding what we have faced. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to go through... Other Guardians, aside from our own Guardians, versus, I guess, other things other than our own Tenno, like maybe like the Stalker and things of that nature. Then I'll go, uh, uh, our foes, I will tear our foes, once again, with, with proof battles we've had as Guardians versus battles we've had as Tenno. And last but not least, I will go through our own Guardian and our own Tenno, and we will look at how they scale, okay? And when I say scale, I'm going to be using something called the Versus Battle Wiki. A lot of you guys may not know what this is. The Versus Battle Wiki is something that collects information on everything that fights and has feats, feats as in uh, things they've done, and they scale it up to everything else that is imaginary that has done things both imaginary and non-imaginary but it's usually versus battle week is tend to be for imaginary so you can do anything like you can look up vegeta versus spongebob and then you can tear out those things and just look at everything spongebob has done and everything vegeta has done it gets that crazy so i didn't use this initially but once i put up the video and i had so much uh i say backlash saying tenno 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 i did a little more research and i feel like maybe i could have been wrong and upon my research i found out that not only was i right i was I was beyond right, and everyone who says Guardians is right, and anyone who says Tenno needs needs to come with some solid proof after I display what I display. So, without going any further, let's get into it. So, what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to look at is just the scales. You guys can see, 
this it starts off with just telling you where the people are um so you got like tier 10 is just regular people you got urban people nuclear and it just goes up all the way down to i think believe one is or zero okay tier zero is is the abstract true abstraction tier zero is true abstraction and tier one is extra dimensional so the main things we're going to be focusing on believe it or not is going to be tier six which is tectonic and then we're going to be looking at from tier six let's just say going down okay but usually really we're going to be looking at tier six and tier three which is cosmic all right guys so here we go so what we're going to do is look at i guess it's hard because other than the Tenno, there are no Tenno, but I'm going to look at something as close to a Tenno as I can get. And the thing I came up with for our allies is tension. So tension is t tiered at at least 6A. So there is no cap, but he's more than likely around 6A. Okay, guys, they're not, they're not, if he was like, if he was obviously like a 5A, they would say at least 5A. So 6A is probably where he is around that area. Um, he's possibly centuries years old powers and abilities include superhuman physical characteristics expert martial artist expert sword user expert glaive user his attack potency that's what i'm, I'm not going to keep talking about powers and abilities because sometimes that might draw out so let's i'm going to talk about the other things attack potency is at least multi-continent level his speed is massively hypersonic his lifting strength is unknown his striking strength is at least multi-continent class right his durability is at least multi-continent level. His stamina is very high. His range is a standard melee range. Standard equipment, intelligence high, and weakness. He cannot disobey the order of a person who wields a Kuva Spectre. So that's just that's just him in a nutshell. Now, here we are. Let's look at the close ally to to uh, Guardians, which would be a Core Ray. Tears at at least 5C, likely is 4B. So that's another thing you're going to realize about this a lot. Worf, uh, Destiny tends to give you more pinpoint. This is where they're at. Ver when when uh, Warframe is like, uh, they may be here. I, I think they're there. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to really get a, 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 a gap on where they are. So a core ray, um, age is unknown. Classification, human, guardian, warlock. Powers and abilities, like I said, it, it's, look at this, just look at it guys, you can pause it if you want to and look at the powers and abilities, but here we are, attack potency is at least moon level plus, okay, speed, faster than light, lifting strength, unknown, striking strength is at least moon class plus, durability is at least moon class plus, or moon level plus, I'm sorry f uh, for that, um, stamina is high, range, hundreds of meters, standard equipment, her goal, sparrow, possibly several types of guns, grenade launchers, etc., Intelligence, Akura is one of the most intelligent guardians. Um, weakness, guardian is the light, losing the light. So I'm just going to stop right there. So that if tension is a 6A, that would make him a continent level being. And if a core ray is a 4B, she's solar system level. <laughs> hey, what do you want from me, guys? All right, next person. And guys, like I told y'all, I kept it real. One of the biggest reasons why I said Guardians win is because of the things Guardians have defeated versus what Tenno have defeated. It is no comparison at all. Like, I, like it, it's not even close. It's, uh, that is the biggest thing. Okay, so here we are. We're going to look at Han Hao. Han Hao tears is at least 6A. He's possibly a 5B. Ooh, that's a strong man right there. A strong alien. A strong being. His classification is sentient, boogeyman, and destroyer of worlds. His age is unknown. Powers and abilities. You guys can read that if you want to. Right there for you. Pause it. Okay. Attack potency is at least multi-continent level. His speed is at least massively hypersonic. Lifting strength, of course, is unknown. Striking strength is planet class. Durability is at least multi-continent level. Possibly planet level. I want to add to that. Okay. That's important. He possibly can uh, tank a planet uh, level damp attack. His stamina is limitless. Range, standard melee range. Dozens of meters with ranged attacks. Um, standard equipment, his fragments, interchangeable arm weapons, and omnidirectional lasers. Intelligence is high, okay? Weakness, none. Notable. <laughs> I like that, Hunt How You seem like a very strong feller there. All right, now we're going to go to, I always like to do this, guys. Y'all know I use it in the video, so I'm going to use it now. We're going to go to Oryx, and which was possibly my biggest reason. I want to keep saying this before I even use the battle wiki. Oryx was, the defeat of Oryx was, to me, 
I, I didn't think Tenno could do that. And I and if you look at this, and if you look at the stats and the statistics I'm showing you guys, it's no way that six Tenno can do what six Guardians did. Oryx is okay, and, and if you remember, guys, if you played the game, Oryx has multiple forms. The real Oryx, the raid Oryx, which is the real Oryx that we kill, is at the end. So I'll, I'll go through the tiers. He's at least five C, likely four B. Okay, that's the fake Oryx, right? That's the Oryx before he goes into his throne world. And you can't kill him. So this four, this 5C and 4B, if you guys are saying we can kill this Oryx, it doesn't matter because this Oryx will always resurrect because Oryx is an Ascendant taken and you have to kill him, uh, Ascendant Hive, and you have to kill him in his throne world with sword logic, okay? He, he's 2B, eventually will become a 2A. He's likely 1C and possibly 1B. Now, before I even continue, we're going to go back to the tearing. He's possibly 1B, like, like, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Oryx, the Taken King, is hyperversal level. Nothing in Warframe at all is anything close to hyperversal level. Nothing in, t in Warframe is even close to low multiversal level. That alone tells you that a Tenno cannot be the Guardian. That that alone is, is no more discussion to be had, guys. Okay, I try I try to be a nice guy on this channel, but you y'all blowing making blow a gasket, bringing up all these little small feats like sandstorms on a planet. Who cares about a sandstorm on a planet? We destroy pl we destroy planets, universes. They're multiversal beings. You don't understand that. They're like they're faster, they're stronger, they're more durable, and they're more experienced. In, in every single way, but I'm, I'm gonna get to that later. Okay, here we go. Name Oryx. Obviously, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna go through all his name. Matter of fact, yes, I will. Oryx, the Taken King, formerly known as Oryx and Orosh, the first navigator, the great navigator, the Demon King, King of Shapes, the Herald God, King of the Deep, the Carver of Tablets, the Destroyer of Light, the Taker of Will. Okay, this age is billions of years old. Hey, for that guy who said, just because I said Oryx is a god, does it make him a god? What about right here when it says his classification is god and the fact that he's lived billions of years, all right? Once again, abilities is too many to the name. You want to pause that and read that goddamn summary? You go ahead and do it, okay? I'm calming down now. Here we go. Attack potency is at least moon level plus. Speed faster than light. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. His, his, his actual attack potency is high hyperverse level, uh, low... Complex multiverse level. It, 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 that's the moment. It's multiple forms of orcs. So the best oryx is high hyperverse level. Speed faster than light. Lifting strength at least class Z. Likely multi stellar. Effortlessly holds and conjures stars. Should be comparable to Seventh Throne, who is adversely affected by the gravitational effects of a black hole. He's actually immeasurable in his strength of lifting. Striking strength, at least moon level plus, likely solar system class, multiversal, possibly hyperverse. I'm not gonna read everything. I'm not going to come on now. Like, what, what is this? Durability, at least moon level plus, likely low complex multiversal level, possibly high hyperverse level. Totally immune to the effects of your max power guardians unless his power is used against him. His own power is used against him. Stamina, extremely high. Range, interdimensional, at least interplanetary, at least multiversal. Will like will become likely low complex multiversal, possibly high hyperversal. Oris is capable of influencing the Vex as an entire collective and traveling and escaping from the deep and darkness. Like, come on, standard equipment that he breaks your will. Tablets of ruin, the worm, like, and Intelligent, super genius, has had billions of years, billions of years to accrue knowledge and fight. And has the knowledge of everybody has ever killed or taken. <laughs> what? Like, like, do you understand the fact that the guardian has beat this? No weakness, guys. I, I don't know. I'm not about to read that. You want to read that? It's no weakness. Like, this guy's billions of years old. It's like, I, it's no comparison. And now I will go over the last thing, which nips the bud in the nail. Or. What's that saying? Nip it in the bud or something? Bud? I don't know. And for anyone who wants to say something like, oh, well, you choose Oryx, but Oryx helped, and he, he wanted to be defeated. Yeah, Oryx was billions of years old and always wanted to be defeated. It was so strong, nothing could do it. It was God. It was God. I don't, like, like this. In my fact, forget your argument. Here you go. I'm going to bring up Atheon's Times Conflux, something else that Atenum couldn't beat, six of them. He tears at 2B. Um, age is incalculable. And here we go. Let's actually just get straight to the feast. Attack potency, multiverse level, multiverse level. Speed is unknown. Lifting strength, unknown. Striking strength, multiverse. Um, durability is multiverse. Stamina is limitless. Range is multiversal. Um, intelligence, super genius alone. 
Uh, so there you go. Uh, that that's just another being. Everything that Guardians fight is around this two B, uh, like tier two, tier one, tier three. They don't fight anything that's like six B. Get it on my face. It's not ready for it. It's not Guardian worthy. All right, so we're scaling. Like I was trying to do, guys. I was scaling the universes. If you guys don't understand what I was doing, I was using allies from the universe, foes of the universe, and then the person of the universe. So here we are. What we're gonna do last is just tear the per the people themselves. So we're gonna look at three warframes that just kept being brought up. Uh, we're gonna be looking at. Well, we're gonna probably look at two of them. Rhino and, and Naros for sure. We may look at Excalibur. And then we're going to look at just the Guardian because the Guardian is that, okay? So here we are. Um, Rhino is at least low 7C, likely low 6B, possibly higher. Unknown with Rhino Stomp, at least low 7C, likely low 6B, possibly much higher. And unknown with Rhino Stomp, okay? Um, attack potency is at least small town level, uh... Likely small country level, possibly much high, higher. Speed is massively hypersonic. Um, lifting strength is at least class one. Um, striking strength is at least small town level, likely small country level, possibly much higher. Durability is at least small town level, likely small country level, possibly higher. Um, stamina is limitless, range, extended melee range, um, about 62 meters with a rhino stomp, standard equipment, um, intelligence, unknown, and weakness, advanced, concentrated EMPs. Alright, so now we're gonna go to, so he basically, what I'm really getting from this guy is he's, he's small country level about that about about small country am i unfair in saying that I'm, I, how about this we're even giving one higher than small country so small we'll give him tier six we'll make him. we'll give him tectonic all right we'll even give him higher I, how about that i exaggerate his abilities okay um let's go to a naros now all right we're going to do two the naros is at least low 7c likely 6b possibly higher um Age, unknown, classification, Warframe, God King of Phobos, you can read the abilities, as I've been saying. Attack potency is at least small town level, likely small country level, possibly higher. Speed is massively hypersonic, possibly relativistic, plus or higher. Um, strike, uh, lifting strength, unknown, striking strength, at least small town class, likely small country class, plus durability, at least small town level. Um, likely small country level, stamina limitless, I mean range, same, extended, intelligent, all, all the Warframes have similar characteristics, like if I go to Excalibur, same thing, if you realize at least low 7C, likely 6B, possibly higher, possibly just unknown what exalted, it's all about the same intelligent, all, they're all just the Warframes, okay, and if you look, okay, here we are, Guardians, tearing 4B, Likely low 2C. Age, thousands of years. You can read the abilities, guys, as always. Destructive ability, solar system level. Likely universe level plus. Speed, faster than light. Striking ability, solar system class. Likely universal plus. Durability, solar system level. Likely universal level plus. Uh, stamina variable range. Likely hundreds of meters. Intelligence, super genius. Weakness, the darkness. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I feel like I kind of have proved my point but there are like some nitpickers if you want to you can go in and look at all the versus battle wikis i'm gonna link all my wikis all the wikis that i use um in the description of course so you guys can cross reference anything that i said and try to poke holes in anything i said but it's pretty solid i read it right off of here and i was showing you guys as i was reading it so um check up on it um thank you guys for checking it out Make sure you like, subscribe, share it to your friends, share it to your friends' friends, guys. I'm, I, it's a lot of people that view, but they don't like subscribe, and that's okay. Maybe it's, I'm not putting on consistent content that you like, but the subscribers would really help. And most of my viewers just don't subscribe, but I guess you guys like the video because I have good ratio. So, I don't know. I try to keep this stuff out like the beginning of the video. I try not to bombard you guys with this, but I really need the help. So, if you guys can offer the help. And I would appreciate it. Just like, subscribe, and just share it or anything. Anything that you can do. Even the comments help me out because it builds up traction. So, 
Um, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have an amazing new year. I think I'm Hercules. Out. Do it! I'm glad you were here today. Talk out my fear to my nature, a rackness. Bounce like shit. I'm strapped with plasmids. Mega bust up when I'm snapping like a spazzing square. What happened? I'm on a tear when I spit. I be everywhere like I'm Booker the Whip. 